Void Glooms are a pivotal part of Skyblock, granting access to many mid to late game items and weapons. So in this video, I'll be showing you two setups to successfully kill Void Glooms consistently. Method 1 is RCM maging the boss, and method 2 is meleeing the boss, and I'll briefly go over both setups. We'll start with the mage route, and for our armor, we're going to use Final Destination as it'll multiply our intelligence by 1.5 times when crouched. For our weapon, we're going to use the Hyperion for its high explosive damage, and we're going to set our reforge to Sighted or Bizarre if you have the money for it. In terms of accessories, we're going to need the Reaper Scythe so we can summon mobs to tank the Void Gloom's hit phase, and make sure to have at least an Overflux power up down when you're fighting the boss. Next up is the melee route, and we're going to use Final Destination for our armor, just like the Mage route. For our weapon, we're going to use the Atom Split Katana. If you're on a budget, you can use the Vorpal to kill it too, it'll just take a bit more skill to do. For our Reforge, we're going to use Scorch Books to help us with our damage, and you're going to need a Reaper Scythe and a Power Orb as well. In terms of pets, both routes should be able to use an Ender Dragon pet if they can, however, the Mage Route can get away with using a Sheep if they don't have the money for an Ender Dragon. The Reaper Scythe is going to be used the same way for both methods. You're going to kill Wither Spectres in the Blazing Fortress to collect souls on the Reaper Scythe. You're going to summon the souls during the hits phase of the Void Gloom's fight. That way, you don't have to take the high amount of damage and the summons can do it for you. That's really all there is to it. Damage the boss with your respective weapon and summon the souls during the hits phase. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide and feel free to subscribe if you found it helpful.